So now I have all the interior walls for the most part added and we are ready to move to the next subject, which is adding a text where I will add basically the room names or the spaces names uh, just for us to start working and focusing on that. Uh, and then we will move on like to adding the doors and the windows. To add text in AutoCAD, we can simply do it by typing the T letter in the keyboard and then we're gonna hit the return. And now we can start the text command. Another location you can start the text command is from the left side where it says text right here. And you can click on this one and that would allow us to start it. So the way the text command works, it's similar. Actually, no, it's a little different. But uh, but basically the way it works is we need to, to draw a dialog box and I will start from the garage area. So you will click one on one corner and then click on another corner. Now we can type what we want. So let's say here, two car garage. And then you will see as you're typing, we will get this window on the top, which allows us to modify some of the settings. And you're gonna notice once I click outside the dialog box to finish writing that the text will almost disappear. Now it didn't disappear, it's over here somewhere. It's just very small, similar to how we had with the dimensions earlier. And that's why we need to modify the text uh, style so that way we can see it at the right size. To modify the text style, there's multiple ways to do it by either first like changing just this uh, specific text element size. Uh, and we can do that from the properties uh, window. So I will head back to that. And then from here, when I have the text selected, you can on the right side, you will see that there's text height. I'll just use a value that I know will work, six inches. And then I'm gonna zoom out and you will see relatively it's a good size compared to the floor plan that we have. Uh, now this is only modifying for this one. Now, if we create another text, it will still come out in a small size. So we wanna modify the style. And again, similar to how we did to the dimensions. To modify the text style, there's actually a manager that can be found right here, and you can click on it, and then it will give us this window. Now, by default, you should see only the standard. The other ones came came with the dimension style when I loaded it into the project. Um, but basically, if you want to change just the one you have, which is standard, uh, you will see here it will say the text height is zero. So you want to modify it to become six, for example. And you can see here, you can assign like different fonts to change like the text style. And then you're gonna click apply and close. And then let's just try this again. So let's uh, do a text here. Okay, and I'm gonna call this space the washer dryer. And then I'm gonna click outside the box to finish editing and now it's working properly. I also wanna show you how to create a new dimension or text style, I keep missing it with the dimension. Uh, we go back to the text style window and then from here you can click on the plus icon and let's say we want to create another one uh, let's say large and then you would make this one even bigger for example and then you can add one more and you call this one small for example and we put the text height at four uh, i think we need to apply when we do it uh, just to make sure so on the large when you change the text height you want to type eight and then apply to actually save it to the text style and for small, if we want to make it smaller, we are going to do, uh, for example, two inches and we're going to click apply. So now we have large at eight inches height, small at two, and then the standard is at six inches height.